This week kicked off the first Passenger Safety Week, a campaign launched by We Save Lives and the National Road and Safety Foundation, a campaign educating those on just that, passenger safety. In 2019, 62% of crash fatalities were passengers. That's a huge number. And just think if those passengers, the ones that were able, um, were able to speak up or not get in the car. Candace Leitner, founder of the We Save Lives organization and the founder of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, explained it was during her talks across the country she noticed something alarming. I would ask how many of you ride with someone who's drunk, drugged, or distracted, and I was amazed at how many people, especially MBA students, who raised their hands. And when I said why, a lot of them said, well, I don't know how to handle the situation. I don't know exactly what to say. From there, We Save Lives launched Passenger Safety Week during the last week in January, an educational program aimed to encourage those buckling up to speak up. And what we really want to do is empower passengers to feel so strongly about their own safety and their own lives that they speak up or they simply don't get in the car with a dangerous driver. One should never get in the car if a person is impaired and if they're driving distracted while you're in the vehicle, passengers can offer to text or make the call for the driver. I just think you can do this with both love and purpose. You know, just put your hand on theirs and say, you know what? I love you and I love me and I want us both to be safe and I don't want to endanger anybody else's life. And you know that that's an unsafe practice. Creating a conversation could help break the stigma among younger adults, too. I think the thing of it is, especially with teenagers, there's that peer pressure. You know, there's that fear of speaking up for fear they'll be isolated. So the most important thing, I think, is to remember that your life is worth saving. Parents are encouraged to have talks with their teens about these dangers. There is nationalpassengersafety.org, a whole checklist that parents can download and questions to ask their teen when they know their teen is going to ride with someone else. So what we're trying to do is educate parents so they never have to say, if only. To keep the conversation going and to learn more about the campaign, head to our Fox 61 website. I'm Rachel Piscitelli, Fox 61 News.